After losing his daughter and consequentially divorcing his wife, Alan succumbed to depression and almost entirely gave up on life. After saving a little girl from a fire, Alan would find something to live for again. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like and share this video with your friends. It might brighten their day and inspire them to do good. Also keep watching because an important lesson awaits at the end of the video. Alan had given up on looking forward to the next day, to life. After the passing of his daughter, Alice, in a car crash a year ago, every day had become a battle to keep going. His wife left him shortly after Alice's death, and everything spiraled down from there. Depression had become his daily struggle, and the only thing that kept him going was knowing that Alice wouldn't have wanted him to give up. So he sucked up the urge to give up and went to work every day, praying the next day would be better than the last. One day, as Alan was walking to work, he saw a crowd of people huddled together in panic. He approached them, and following the crowd's gaze, he looked up to see a little girl on a balcony on the eighth floor crying as something burned from inside the house. Why isn't anybody helping her? Alan yelled. The firemen are on the way. We've tried to enter the building, but the door won't budge, replied one of the onlookers. Without even a second thought, Alan climbed the rusted fire escape. The smoke seemed to increase rapidly, and it wouldn't be long before the fire got outside to the little girl. Are you insane? She's eight floors up, and that fire escape isn't stable, the onlooker shouted. As Alan got to the seventh floor, one of the handles on the fire escape ladder snapped, loosening Alan's grip. He fell to one of the balconies on the sixth floor, a good distance from the fire escape. The little girl's cries were louder and more audible now. Please help, please, she cried. Don't worry, I'm coming. I'm coming, Alice, Alan yelled. Alan quickly took off his belt and made a knot. He then swung it towards one of the window bars, and it hooked on. He then pulled himself up and swung to the fire escape, just managing to get a hold of it. Alan continued to the eighth floor and grabbed the little girl who was now choking from the smoke. Fearful of going all the way to the bottom with the girl, he decided to jump to the balcony below him. By that time, the fire truck had arrived. He waited there until the firemen broke down the door and took them downstairs. As the men gave them first aid, Alan repeatedly yelled, Get the girl. I'm okay. Help the child. We're already attending to her, sir. Please calm down. We need to get the both of you to the hospital, one of the firemen responded. Later that day, Alan woke up at the hospital, having passed out in the ambulance to the hospital. The very moment he woke, his first words were, The girl. Where is the girl? Don't worry, sir. She is all right, thanks to you, said the nurse attending to him. She is in the next room. You'll be able to see her soon, she continued. Moments later, the nurse ushered Alan into the girl's room. The moment the little girl saw him, she beamed with joy, throwing her hands up and inviting Alan in for a hug. Alan hugged her instantly. Thank you for saving me, sir, she said. It was my honor, princess, Alan replied. Who's Alice? She asked. What? Alan asked. Out there, you called me Alice. Who's Alice? She asked again. Oh, um, sorry about that. Alice is. Alice was my daughter. Alan responded, beginning to well up and hugging the girl tighter. Afterward, the police came to the hospital to get Alan's and the little girl's statements. It was then that Alan would learn the sad yet moving story behind the accident at the little girl's apartment. So, from what we've gathered, the fire started because of a gas leak. She's very lucky that you came along, sir. That was very brave of you, the police officer said. Thank you. Where are her parents? Alan asked. It was just little Lisa and her mother. Her mother sacrificed her life just to get her to the balcony. If you hadn't shown up when you did, her sacrifice might have been in vain, the officer said. Alan took it upon himself to drop Lisa at the children's shelter later that week. He worried about her and would visit her every day for the next couple of weeks. The more time he spent with little Lisa, the more his life regained meaning. After a couple of months, Alan adopted Lisa as his own. And since then, they have always celebrated Lisa's birthday twice a year. 
one for the day she was born, and the second for the day he saved her life, the day they became a family. What can we learn from this story? There is always a reason to keep going and keep living. If Alan had given up on life entirely, he would not have been there to save and later father, little Lisa. Never give up hope. While Alan had given up all hope for a happy life, he learned that there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. No matter how dark the tunnel, share this story with your friends. It might brighten their day and inspire them.